The current proposed tax has been accepted by the large three miners for one reason only. It keeps small Australian mining companies, new, new entrants in major projects, out of the business because it means they can't get the return from mining minerals to employ more people and it leaves a monopoly based on overseas ownership with the major miners. And it's incredible to think the Labor Party could support a system which keeps Australian minerals, Australian things in the hands of overseas companies. It's amazing. What they should be looking at is taking our minerals downstream processing more in Australia so our industries become more competitive so we don't export our minerals, we export downstream products and we create more employment here. Clive Palmer, can I interrupt you? You, you said you, uh, you would accept, <laughs> you would accept yeah. the profits tax. Okay? You, you, the, the question is, uh, to what degree, I mean, I think you named a, a figure there, how, how much does that differ from the current super profits tax in terms of level? Well, I think the Labor Party is looking at a 20% profit tax, which would make us uncompetitive. If we had an 8% or 7% tax profit, which would sort of double the current state royalty rates, that would be something to consider. But currently the royalties in all of Australia are owned by the states, the Crown, not by the Commonwealth. And this is also a grab for central taxation by the Commonwealth. So that's something the states have to consider independently. Let's, uh, let's hear from Tanya Plibersek on this. Well, I, I think it's really um, terrific to have Clive arguing for a, um, a resources rent tax. It's the first time I've actually heard him accept that a tax on the profits of mining companies is a good idea. Um, I think that you have to take with a big grain of salt what he says about his companies being competitive or uncompetitive because when we first started talking about this tax he said he was going to give up exploration in South Australia and he didn't actually have any going on there. He said he was going to not... That's not true. Uh, he, he said he was not going to proceed with several large projects. He can't name any of those projects. Um, so uh, it's good to have him accept the theory. That's a really good first start. It'd be terrific. He was a bit more realistic about the impact it's going to have on his business. Yeah, uh, just to bring you up on that, uh, it is a point. I mean, when I very first interview, the first time I interviewed you on Late Line, you were against a profit tax. Yeah. From uh, from uh, my recollection, forty percent uh, profit tax. Yeah. You, but but not a profit tax at all. I think you yeah. said at that time. Mm -hmm. So you have you have actually changed your position. No, well, at that stage... You've seen the light. It's beautiful, isn't <laughs> it? <laughs> <laughs> We've convinced him. At, at, at that stage, Tony, 